Hello, today I will show you how to use the Nano DLP's official Nexion's TFT file. Uh, as the uh, Nano DLP's official website show, uh, from uh, at the at the mid of the uh, last year, two thousand. Uh, and 19 uh, at the mid of that year it launched uh, its official uh, T uh, Nexion's firmware um, and it also upgrade its uh, nano DLP uh, system and we can see how uh, now today I will show you what is uh upgrade and as toes use uh use the next gen tft file is created by open source and but this uh official next gen tft is launched by uh is official so um, i think uh many 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 one want to uh use the latest versions as you see the this is the interface for the official nexion t f t file and i think the most upgrade for the uh, touch screen firmware is the projector as you see here no 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 I, sorry not the projector it's the plane yes the plane the plane is your uh, uh, 3D printing file normally you upload the STL file and the 3D 3D printer file in the, into this plane and you can click the title and the most uh, upgrade is you can see your model's 3D image from the screen so you roam uh, paint the wrong model and I think this is the and uh, it's the X. You can see this interface is mm, it's very clear. And the uh, Wi Fi. And the uh, vision. And your CPU and memory temperature and it's very simple and clear. So um come to the come to the upgrade version nano DLP's firmware you can see Spring also have the preview image on your models, so you can easily uh, to ident identify your models from the uh, web page. So it's very uh, clear, and but how to use this? Now I will show you how to use this uh, official screen. And the first you need to download is uh, Nano DLP's uh, image from its uh, official official website. Then you need to download its official TFT file 
and this this length be uh this length. Then burn your image to your Raspberry uh, Freebie or other versions, and just burn your image. Then burn the TFT to your Nexion screen. And the last thing you need to do is uh, open up your Raspberry uh, serial port. Here, uh, I just uh, copied from the toast project. Uh, you just need to log into your putty. Now, fill your Raspberry IP address port as SH and open it. Here, the password, if your username is use PI and the password use Raspberry. And after you log into it, you just need to Use this command, so to do Raspberry configure. You just uh, need to right click your um, mouse, right click your mouse, then enter, select the interface option, and open the serial ports, and the first, select no. Don't use the log on shell. Then, would you like to open the, enable the serial port? Yes. Then, OK. Then, finish. Then, the second thing you need to do is, uh, Change your Bluetooth. Uh, you can use this this word. Delay three D P mineral B T. Mineral U A R T B T. Uh, you need to do the sort of do nano reboot text. I suggest you use this this word. Did it overlay PI three and the overlay um, PI three mineral UIT UR UART BT. I kicked. Control at old to write to this configured text and control plus X to exit. And then uh, we put so the reboot. Or you can sort of nano DLP nano put command nine text to remove this phrase. But I think there's no this phrase in your in in, in this command text. So just need to solo reboot. Then after you solo reboot, you need to go to your 
a page for setting, machine setting. And the printer setting, you need to choose the advance and submit it. It's, uh, default is essential. You can't see anything. So you need to add the uh, advance. After you remove it, you will find that this the last page have the various variety various settings. Here the next gen port address. Here the default is empty. Uh, you can double click it. You can see here some option for your choose. If you double click this blank, you you need you must choose AM a O. This one. T T Y A M A O. Then submit it. Then after we will boot this uh, I'll just go to the nano submit it and we boot it. Go to use this button, we boot your nano DRP. Then your next gen will be functional. You can touch its screen. Each page will be respawn. So this is the uh, uh, so this video just show you this um, basic use for the uh, next screen. Uh, thanks for watching.